Hi everyone, and thank you for joining us today. Today we're going to take a look at how to uh, refill a 409S cartridge, just like this. This is my black K cartridge. And um, what you need for this is you just need two tools. One is your needle nose pliers, and the other one is your flathead screwdriver. Uh, you can also use um, a funnel if you like. This will come with your kit. You just have to cut it out, and it works really well once you have it like this. Just make it into any size you'd like, just like that. As you can see, it works really well. But uh, you don't even need a funnel. I'm not even going to use a funnel. But the first thing we should do is use our gloves. Uh, gloves should be supplied with your kit. And then once we have our gloves on, it's actually fairly easy to open these guys up. I've already gone ahead and opened this, but what you're going to look at is when you take a look at this cartridge, you'll see just like that. And you'll see that there's a panel right there and the little black knot. So what they've done is they just put a little plastic there so that you can't see it. But you just put your flathead screwdriver in like that, just like that, and you pop it open. And it will open up and reveal a little cork-like opening right there. And you just take your flat needle nose pliers and we just pop that open. And all you need to do that is just wiggle it open one by one. Just one side and then the other side. I also forgot to mention that you need a good work area. What I've done is I've put four pieces of paper together with a piece of tape right in the middle here to have as a good work area. You can see it just takes a couple seconds and I can see that it's wiggling up and it's almost out. Pop. Just like that. And all you need to do now is to refill. So to refill, this is what your phone will look like when you receive it. Just like that in a gray bag. It's really nice. What you want to do is you want to make sure it's shaking really well. I'll say, give it a good shake for about 20 seconds or so. Let's just make sure. Good thing, just make sure that you check all the, the corners and make sure that there's no torn anywhere. And you keep on shaking, shake, shake, shake. And what this does is it actually turns the toner powder into almost like a liquid form. So it's really easy. It'll just pour like a liquid now. Now that you have that, just check your, your edges, make sure that all the toner is gone, which is exactly what happened. So now we have this. We can have either a prop or something just to hold it up, or you can have two people. The best way to do it is have one person hold it and then the other person have the toner. So once you have this, I'll just I'll have you guys help right here. There. Okay, so we have holding it up so now all we need to do is just cut one of the corners right here just like that and just and you can see it and just all you need to do is just start pouring and it'll pour right in and you just wait and it will just go give it time take your time there's no rush zero rush just wait because it's like liquid it will pour by itself there is no rush. Whew. And that's it. So I have now finished pouring in toner. So this is the empty bag. You just throw it away. The one thing I, I, I have to mention, you cannot 100% you cannot overfill the unit. If you overfill the unit, just take any cloth or uh, napkin and just make sure that there's no toner anywhere. And then we'll take our cork and just seal it back up. And there you go. You've uh, successfully refilled your cartridge. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.